Hey, how's everyone tonight? I've been trying to find stories that have to be under 15. It's kind of hard, but I found one. Here's uh, the list of vice presidents of the United States. Now, there's been 40 vice presidents of the United States from John Adams to Tim Paul Linty. Originally, originally the vice president was the person who receives the second most votes for the president in the electoral college. Now, however, in the elect election of 1800, it was a tie in electoral college between Thomas Jefferson and Aaron Burr, it led to the selection of presidential by the House of Representatives to prevent such an event from happening again. Um, the 20th Amendment was added to the Constitution, creating this current system where uh, electors cast a separate ballot for the vice presidency. Now, the vice president has few powers, uh, especially uh, proved for in the con Constitution. The primary function is such to see if the presidency, uh, presidency, president of the United States uh, dies, that the office becomes due to death. Now, the ninth, pre ninth vice president has succeeded to the presidency in this way. In addition, the vice president serves as the president of the Senate and may choose to cast a tie-breaking vote um, on the decision by the Senate. Now, vice president has exercised this latter power of varying extent over the years. Now, prior to the passage of the 20th Amendment, 25th Amendment, the vacancy in the office of vice president could not be replaced until the next election. Um, such vacancies were common. 16th, 16 occurred before the 25th Amendment was passed as the result of seven deaths, one resigned, and eight cases of where the vice president succeeded to the presidency. This amendment allowed the vacancy to be filled and appointed by the president in confirming by both the House and of Congress since it passes, three vice presidents have been appointed through that process. Gerald Ford in 1973, uh, Nelson Rockefeller in 1974, and Tim Pauliti in 2009. Now, the vice presidents have held from 21 states. More than half came from five states. New York, 11. Indiana, 5. Now, Massachusetts, four, Kentucky, three, Tennessee, uh, uh, Texas, three. Most of the presidents has been in their 50s and 60s and had critical experience assuming that office. Now, over the history, number of pre vice presidents by the party affiliation in the Republican Party for vice president, 21. Now, the Democrat Party has been 17. Uh, Democrat and Republican together as independent, six, Whig Party, two, uh, Federalist, uh, one, and then we have 18 vacancies of uh, vice presidents. So, <clears throat> and those who um, been in office know, um, like the history of Nixon. Nixon had two vice presidents. First, uh, Spiro. Um, he left office in 1973 on October 10th. And Gerald Ford became the second vice president under Richard Nixon. And then uh, Nelson Rockefeller of New York uh, became the vice president for Gerald Ford. And then Walter Mondale, of course, under Jimmy Carter, he was the vice president, of course. And then you got George Bush, who became president. Um, he was under Ronald Reagan. And then, um, of course, Dan Quayle never became president, and he will never will. Um, he was under George Bush. And then we got Al Gore, who was under Bill Clinton. And then Dick Cheney. Um, under George Bush and under Tim, um, 
Um, Paul Leite, uh, he was the incumbent to be under John McCain as his vice president, which John McCain never became president of the United States at that time. So that's kind of the history of background of what different presidents and vice presidents have been doing um, history. So I hope you like this type of history, knowing what the vice presidents and presidents, uh, how they became. Thanks for listening. Talk to you guys later. Bye now.